Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Hitman World of Assassination. Um, we previous episode went pretty damn well. Uh, yesterday uh, took out all three targets with poison. For a change, finally everything went relatively smoothly. Uh, silent assassin score, so that was. Uh, pretty nice and that is all uh, not even the final assassin run that I wanted to do it was all just as part of a um, challenge um, cleaning up per <laughs> cleaning up in or uh, yeah just cleaning up uh, challenges but um, I was now thinking this is where there are still several kill challenges that we need to do this one and this one the other ones like uh, this one i will save for the uh, final silent assassin run and for the tyson guy uh, uh, that will be god damn it do i still have a kill for tyson i wonder because this is Ludmila, this is um, God damn it, I again forget his name. What's his name? We have Tyson Williams, Ludmila Vetrova and Stephen Bradley. Alright, this one I don't know for who it is, that's the one I wanted to check out now. But is there any other kill opportunity for Tyson Williams? I'm afraid not. I accidentally went through all of them unless the one we are doing now because that is in the villa this is in the underground part of the villa i think unless this is related to tyson williams so then i should actually probably not do it for the rest there is no kill any yeah this one yeah maybe i will just use this one for the si the final silent assassin run I still have no idea how to do this one. There's like an ornament in his, um, in the hole of his uh, guarded villa that you can apparently shoot down, but I have no idea how to lure him downstairs. So we have to figure that out. No clue. I also have no idea where this is. I think, yeah, we could maybe do this one now as well. Uh, because I think this may be in the um, Jason Portman bungalow. I think she goes in there and if we then mess around with the, uh, the hatch, she will fall in there. Um, but yeah, let's, let's keep this one parked, this one we do later, this one we do later. And then for uh, yeah, the silent assassin run, I will probably do this one for Tyson Williams and then this combo kill for Ludmila and Stephen. Um, but for now, let's try and do this one. This is down below in the uh, surfer area. Yeah. Where we, uh, I think, can sabotage Mr. the. Uh, welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the welcome. Okay, enjoy your stay. We can sabotage the. Uh, yeah, surfer uh, racks that are there, and then something probably overheats or something. I have no idea. I guess that will also trigger some of the targets to come down there. I have no idea. Right, where the hell is that guy? Oh, he's up there. All right, I could just as well have oh. um, used uh, a safe in where I already disabled the cameras, what I'm doing now, and I already have a guard uniform, but that safe is not silent assassin anymore, so yeah, for now it's not that much work, I just started a fresh. Here we go, no more kidding around. Oh! 
Holy shit! Holy shit! What was that? Holy crapperoni! Holy crap and crapperoni! Here we go. No more kidding around. Kind of commotion down here. Commotion down around. here. here I'm, I'm not an American. I have no idea on the local dialect and uh, slang over there. But that to me sounds like a New Yorker. It's one of those. Ah, no way. Fuck me. I think they spotted me. Yes. What the hell? That's the first time that <laughs> holy shit. That's the first time that that happened, seriously. Fuck me, man. All right, that's really weird. I got spotted in this level already a gazillion times. Or a bazillion. God damn, it's so annoying. Checking that silent assassin. I cannot stand these hot icons, so I always have to turn it on and off, which is super cumbersome. Anywho, um, I died already. Mr. A Reaper! Well, huh? Gazillion, bazillion, million times. But never over there seen by somebody from the uh, balcony of the house. It was uh, a new one. I'm gonna try if I can do this quicker. Here, you know what? I'm just gonna get this guy. I'm not even gonna lure him. This is pretty tricky, of course, because there are people over there that can see through the window. And there is also a guy walking around, but uh, it seems to work. So that's also a thing in this game. Once you get familiar with a level, you can really... Um, see so many things that can be done Whoa! much quicker than you initially think and probably I'm still now super inefficient there are probably much quicker ways to get to where uh, I want to be still a bit baffled that they spotted me why don't they hear this? What? Right, so who was spotting me? It's crazy. Come in. I just heard something. I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm not sure I even need this guard disguise. It does make it much easier to walk inside the house. What was that? Yeah, Hello? Nobody can see me, no. right? Um, anywho, for getting down into the basement, I may not even need this. But yeah. Sometimes it's uh, what I do remember at one point, I think I was even spotted all the way from over there while taking a guy out here. The viewing range of NPCs in this level, it's pretty crazy. Much, um, Hello, sir. Further than in other levels, I read.
kept the door open, save a bit of hassle, having to drag the body, drop the body, etc. Bigger chance that you will be spotted by patrolling guy, guy over there. Oh shit. I of course need his uniform. And now downstairs is where the server park is and also where there is where there are one or two or maybe even more. Stat say it's functioning. We haven't had to do this in years. Uh, you remember how long it took to reboot it back then? Oh god, yeah, that was hell. Never seen Miss Patrol was so freaked out. I think she was getting claustrophobic or something. She was white as a sheep. Good thing it only happened once. I mean, it's not like we don't have other things to do. Let's just hope it's another day in paradise. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It always is. Alright, so Petrova is probably involved with rebooting this system. I think this is where the um, uh, picture is of the kill. Like over here. We are standing behind this monitor and that, that thing over there, jellyfish that is now blue, once it is, uh, the system is disabled, I guess it turns red. Anywho, there are, what I was saying, there are multiple enforcers roaming about here. I think amongst which these two. Don't worry, it's fine. You're new. We just need to make sure Mr. Williams never hears about what you did. Luckily, you didn't reset the entire system. Yeah. Again, I'm very sorry. Triggering an alarm on my first day isn't exactly what I envisioned. Worst case scenario is that all of the servers are compromised somehow. If that happens, the system will enter into an automatic hibernation in order to preserve the data. That means everything shuts down and Williams, Vitrova, and Bradley will be summoned down here. You do not want that. Gotcha. Don't disable everything. Ah, so they are all three coming in here. Wow, if that works... Server integrity compromised. Attention required. I mean, if that works... I can do a silent session run with all three targets. Right now, probably I will not make it, but we can at least try. This lady needs to move. Ah, it's repaired. Ah, so there's a time limit here. That's pretty tricky. Or I need to take out Excuse me? What's going on? 
Probably I need to take out that guy as well. Shall I just take my chance? This can go e wrong so easy. That's what I mean. It's so annoying. Dead? Oh my god! Please! I need help! This is where you step up to the plate, man. And I think so. Alright, I'm going to get back here one more time and I will be saving the game. We have one save. And I can mess about a little bit. I should have done that, um, of course, before. But I wasn't aware that it would be such a tricky section. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the welcome center. Something weird. I'm gonna go check it out. Damn it. I wanted to keep the door open. Alright, saving in that survey area is probably A little bit soon to save, but I'm gonna try anyways because I'm super Don't worry, pretty it's certain fine. that I will You're screw good. it up like uh, ten times. So here we go. Let's first take out this guy. There are so many eyes everywhere. Yeah, it's crazy. Again, I'm very sorry. Triggering an alarm on my first day. Man, thought I heard something. Checking it out. Over. Although this that box will. Alright. Ah, crap. <laughs> ah, you see how easy it is? Who spotted me? Somebody spotted me. 
right? Or not? I heard like this. Yes, somebody spotted me. Or at least spotted a body. I was not looking upstairs indeed. They can probably also see you. Like over there. I wonder. Yeah, I think there's a guy walking to the. Again. Very sorry. Triggering an alarm on my first day. There may be a guy over there walking to the water cooler or something. Otherwise, I don't really see who would spot me. Uh, could you be in the water? Uh, there he is. God damn it. Did it also really. Yeah, I find it a little bit annoying. NPC patrol timing. Because taking out this guy is probably something that a lot of people will do. And then have that guy... ...immediately walk over there. That's just annoying. Triggering an alarm on my first day is exactly what I envisioned. Worst case scenario is that all of the servers are compromised somehow. If that happens, the system will enter into an automatic hibernation. I thought this guy was a... So Everything shuts down and... I thought he was also an enforcer, but he isn't. Alright, I'm just going to uh, lure him uh, away. Uh-huh. Otherwise I will keep failing anyways. Have a look around. I'm just going the Come on. Really? Petrova, just leaving a message. What? I have the item. I'm just gonna try and do this uh, weird noises. a bit I'll safe, because otherwise it will keep failing anyway, so probably even if I'm playing it safe I will fail as well, at least a little bit smaller chance. Yeah, there are some pretty good... Placement of crates here. Although I would prefer to really hide these bodies instead of just putting them behind a crate. But let's do that later for that guy. Alright, that guy is gone. Then we have this guy and that lady. And we have, of course, the people upstairs who could spot me. So, I think it could be an ID. Yeah, that guy is annoying. That guy sees a lot. Maybe we should just take out that guy first. Man, you really have to take out the whole area over here to be safe. Ah, this was indeed a distraction to take them out helpful and then we can oh shit I thought this was a room to hide them in who spotted me Traction on in hopes that another guy will come over as well. Sometimes more people come over to the same distraction. Yes, there he comes. Now I'm actually wondering shouldn't I leave some people uh, alive here? This is the trial and error that you really cannot know up front. Because in this picture, there are still multiple peoples in that control room. So yeah, 
have no clue. Shall we just leave this guy be for now? Yeah, let's just leave him be. Uh, fuck me, did these... Did I now lose my silent assessor? Because they're somehow all suddenly enforcers. No. He was suspicious of me. Not suspicious enough. Alright, so that guy over there, that's not really an issue anymore. Now the question is, can we lure this guy over? Sometimes they don't hear follow-up throws. Alright, this is dangerous because that lady is walking in the hallway over there. Just taking my chance here. That worked. Alright, how many coins uh, do I get only one back? How many do I have? Two. I, I started out with three, so either I forgot to pick up one, somewhere a coin. stay here when I throw the coin so I can pick oh. it up immediately. All right. Hello? Who made that sound? Right, I have no idea whether I can be spotted from upstairs, but yeah, it is what it is. No risk, no rewards, no pain again. out of the equation so we have two server racks that we can manipulate now but before doing that wonder have a good day sir i wondered whether he was uh, an enforcer but don't think so but the next problem is that lady over here because there's a server rack over there and I think if I leave them be they will just repair the server rack that's not what you want all right we can hide bodies over here people upstairs don't really see it there's a monitor in between it seems uh, the only thing I'm not sure whether that guy is an enforcer drag a body over here without people noticing uh, there's a person over there that will does look in this direction so this cupboard is not the way I think this cupboard is the way He heard 
that. I thought that was um, way too far away, but apparently not. Now I also understand why these cupboards are here. I was wondering earlier, why the hell are they here? Oh shit, did I get spotted? I think I did, otherwise the music doesn't kick in. Fuck me. That was the wrong button. No, I'm still good. Can you imagine? Alright, now the question is that lady over there. I think that are all the scientists that we need to take out. At least the ones that could screw it up. And indeed, I think I may have saved a little bit too soon because I've oh geez. shit, I've no idea what to do. And yeah, let's check it out anyways. Server integrity compromised. Attention required. Ah uh, shit. That guy is coming over. So I really need to take all of them out, I guess. Where is that guy? There he is. Could I take him out over here? I wonder. I'm just gonna try it. This is a lot of uh, cleaning house over here. These cupboards also are getting fuller and fuller. Right now, the other one. God damn it, that cupboard is full. The one over there, not. There's still place in the cupboard over there. such a chore. We have 10 minutes left in the episode. Will I be spotted? There are not a lot of people 
up there anymore. I could be spotted by guards patrolling. Holy shit, another one. They are all coming over. And now actually the... Uh, is full over there. So the question is, is there any other cupboard over there? I can put them in the um, Super tricky, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Nice. Alright, I cannot be seen interacting with this thing. Server integrity compromised. Attention required. Server integrity compromised. Attention required. Attention integrity compromised. Server integrity collapsed. Attention required. 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 Attention required.
So I have to redo that whole cleaning up. Yeah, there are all three there. All right, you know what? It's by the way, it's not Silent Assassin if they see. Son of a bitch! Ah, fuck me. That is Ludmilla Vitrova, English-born former consulate artist of Russian descent and current client handler. Careful with this one, forty-seven. Right, that Tyson was very Williams stupid. Eliminated. Excellent work, forty-seven. I accidentally. Um... Just one more target to go. Okay, damn it. Two targets remaining. I, ac <laughs> I accidentally um, already drew my weapon. Otherwise, I could have taken them out, all three. Probably, uh, yeah, and then I had to uh, exit the level before they were found. So I'm not sure whether that was possible. Probably, because there was only one guard, I think, in there looking in the other way. Uh, sitting uh, in and looking in another direction. Um, anywho, I know what to do in the next episode. We Before we go there, we need a screwdriver and we need to set up that uh, electrocution kill. The only thing I'm wondering about is when do you need to do that? The setting up that electrocution because If you do it immediately, then the first guy gets electrocuted and then the second person that comes over there will spot it. And uh, you can wonder whether they will then um, come to that console as well. Or do you need to drag the body away until the next one comes over and for the, the second body do that also for the third body uh, person that comes so do you do you need to hide those bodies i have no idea and also can you drag a body that is lying that was just electrocuted because of electricity and water does the electricity remain uh, active or do you need to re-sabotage it after a kill? I have no idea, all these kinds of things. Which is quite annoying on master difficulty level because, yeah, you, uh, I don't know, uh, if I don't know exactly how the game mechanics are supposed, what the game expects me to do, there's trial and error. And that could also mean in this specific area, replaying, quite a lot, like getting uh, all these people to uh, uh, thinning out the whole crowd. So in the next episode, I will probably only save the game after I uh, took out all the scientists uh, and then we can play around with the um, uh, with the electrocution death. And there's also, I think, a challenge here with um, using one of the, the, there are loudspeakers on top of the walkway, on the, the higher up walkway, uh, which you can drop down. And I'm not sure whether we can drop it down on a target, but otherwise maybe on a random guard. Um, that is, I think also uh, a challenge to uh, cause an accident with a falling loudspeaker. Anyways, guys, uh, only time for one episode today, unfortunately. Hope you enjoyed, I hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming, Slater.